Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. I am not even gonna lie, I am having an absolutely shitty day, but we are going to move past that and today we are going to be talking about the raging homosexuals of Forgotten Hollow, the Vitors. Okay, so these two, oh man, these two have my heart. So I know everyone has like headcanons for characters and if you don't know what a headcanon is basically it's just like a, a belief that you have about a character to make them more relatable or like make you connect with them more. Most of the time it's fictional characters but some people are a little bit weird and they headcanon real life people. Especially as like different sexualities which is really fucking weird don't do that. But today we are going to be talking about the Vitors, and I'm kind of just gonna speak a little bit about what I kind of like headcanon them as far as like being like LGBTQ+. So in my head, I actually think of Caleb as a trans man. That might sound like completely out of the blue and it doesn't really have any evidence to back it up, which some people do like headcanons that are like, you know, based off of like suggestions or hints. And some people just do like weird ass headcanons that have absolutely no basis. And I feel like that's what this is. I think it's mainly like a comfort thing because I feel like Caleb is kind of portrayed very androgynous but more on the feminine side and i think because of that i kind of connect with that if that makes any sense i've actually been experimenting with using he him pronouns as well as they them so like they he but i still present myself pretty feminine like i, I wear like a lot of makeup and i know like makeup is not inherently feminine but i think just like the way I dress and the way I present myself and the fact that I look like a girl. <laughs> like we're just, I'm just gonna be point blank. I look like a girl. I think the fact that there is a character that uses he, him pronouns and looks like that in The Sims kind of just makes me be like, ooh, trans man. <laughs> I also think that he is definitely bisexual, which I think, is that canon? So I knew that in the teaser video he was seen with a male and female sims, but um, I don't think he was like confirmed to be bisexual, but it was just kind of like obvious <laughs> because you know, he's he's out here flirting with everyone. But the reason why I had Ken and him as bisexual and not pansexual is that I think he prefers guys a little bit more. Like that's just the vibes I get from him. He's just very, very gay. Very, very gay. And then Lilith, on the other hand, I am fully convinced that that woman is a lesbian. There is not a single doubt in my mind. I feel like she definitely suffers from combat though and will definitely like hook up with guys, but she's just sitting here like, no, 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 no. If you don't know what combat is, it is actually the short form of compulsory heterosexuality, which is the theory that heterosexuality is assumed and enforced upon women by a patriarchal and heteronormative society which yes i also had canon that she goes by all pronouns but um prefers she her so that's why i am referring to her with she her i'm saying all this stuff like if she's like a real a real person <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then something else I had canon, which is not sexuality in any way, shape, or form, but I've always had this, like, this idea that, <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying this, that Vlad was Caleb's sugar daddy. Oh my god, I can't even believe I just said that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, Vlad gives off daddy energy. <laughs> I believe like they gave like a like a sugar arrangement a try and then and then Caleb was like uh bro never mind and then Vlad is just like angry about that he is so angry and I know that in canon he hates the Vitors because they don't want to drink blood but I'm just saying maybe there's like a like a sugar thing going on and even further if you want to sin more should I even say this will this get taken down by YouTube if I say this I'm just gonna say maybe Vlad is into blood. I'm just gonna put that out there. Let, let, let your um, imagination run wild with that one. Or not. <laughs> you know, if you're not into the daddy vampires. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the makeovers now. Basically, I had a lot of fun. I love these two. They are just so freaking cute. Except for the fact that Caleb shows up at my sims doorstep, like, go away. I ended up having a gameplay sim self um, get together with Caleb and they adopted two little kids. So that was really cute. I think we're already past the point of me giving the makeover to Lilith, but I, I think you I think you all could see my gay panic as I gave her her makeover. Um, I was sitting there like, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. God, I love women. I love women. I will just say it. I love women, especially hot, sexy vampire women who would 
not hesitate to drain my blood. Like, goddamn. Why do I feel like this video is just like not appropriate anymore? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All it takes is two sexy vampires to make me go off the deep end. I said I was going to talk about the actual makeover and now I'm just sitting here thirsting over the vampires. Again, I think we're already past the point of making over Lilith, but I was struggling so hard with her top. Like I didn't like, I wanted it to be yellow because her original top was yellow, but it just contrasted a lot with her hair and her makeup because I went from more of like a purple, like magenta tone and it was just, it was not working out. I was like, this is so bad. So in the end, I went for a full black gothic outfit because naturally, obviously, if I remember correctly, also the hair strand that I used for Lilith's hair actually did not come with that specific hair. I think I was just playing around with random hair strand accessories and that one just like ended up working perfectly and I'm like, god damn. Oh my god, the end of my piercing just fell out. I don't know where it went. Oh. <sighs> Why does this happen to me? I could not end up finding it, so I had to go get another one. And if it keeps falling out and I keep losing it, I will literally have no extras left. Anyways, for Caleb's makeover, it was a little bit more difficult. Like, people say Caleb's hot, and I guess I have to agree, but his facial structure is a little bit weird when it comes to Cece. Like, I'm, I'm not denying that he's not hot. I think he's attractive, but... It was just a little bit difficult to find skin details that made him look attractive, if you get what I mean. And then for the outfit, I definitely went for something a little bit more low-key. Um, I wanted to keep the original essence of his outfit, but his original outfit is kind of god-awful, if I'm being completely, <laughs> completely honest. And yeah, I ended up just not doing that. Uh, I gave him kind of like a mafia vibe, like a vampire mafia. And I really like how it turned out, actually. I think he looks really, really good. And I cannot, I cannot determine if I am attracted to him or if I want to be him, if I'm being completely honest. We are growing close to the end of the video now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, maybe hitting that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. This is a video in my Halloween installment and I hope you all liked more of like the creepy type video. I know it's like a completely different vibe to my other video, like my previous video. That video was like scripted and like, I had like a monotone creepy voice. <laughs> which was super awkward to film, but I felt like I needed the atmosphere. So in this video, I kind of let my personality go a little bit more because I am not a monotone creepy bitch. I'm just saying. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.